Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today, we're giving you some challenge with some grade seven plus focus on circle theorems. This is for students who uh, are aiming for the highest possible grades in GCSE Maths. Before we begin, you must know your circle theorems. If you don't know that already, go watch my videos on circle theorems. I will link it in the description and at the top of the screen now. But if you're ready, let's try an exam question here. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can do this yourself. If you can't do it all yourself, maybe you can still get halfway. So still pause the video and see how far you can get. If you're ready for the answer, I'm going to go through it now. Okay, so whenever I've got a circle theorem question, I look at all the text at the top. That's normally useless. It's normally just repeating what's in the picture and I just ignore it. The picture gives me all that information anyway. Now, I'm trying to find a shaded segment. So the shaded segment is made from a sector minus a triangle. And so to find a segment, I do the area of a sector minus the area of the triangle. I need to work out the area of the sector and I need to work out the area of the triangle. Now, I can notice that uh, this makes the arrowhead theorem. So, because I know the outside angle is 35, the inside angle at the center must be 70. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Now this gives me an angle and the radius of a sector. So the sector has a radius of 9 centimeters and an angle of 70 degrees. I can tie that into my calculator. 70 over 360 times pi times the radius squared. If we type that in, we get 49.48 centimeters squared. That is the equation for area of sector. You do the angle over 360 times pi r squared. If you don't remember that, I will link uh, the vi my video on areas of sectors in the description. Now for the area of the triangle. This has side lengths of 9 and 9 and an angle of 70. But I'm going to use the formula half a b sin c. This is the formula in GCSE Maths. And if you don't remember this, I will link the video for this in the description at the top of the, or at the top of the screen. We put those numbers in. So A and B are 90 and 9 centimetres, and the angle is 70 degrees. Again, I type that into my calculator, and I get 38.057 centimetres squared. Okay. Finally, I can just subtract those two areas, and I get 11.423 centimetres squared. But I want to round it to 3 centimetre figures, so I get 11.43 centimetres squared. Did you get that one correct? Let me know how far you did in the comments. Now, we've got a second question for you to try. This one's about angles. So pause the video again and see if you can get uh, the answers correct here. Okay, we're trying to find angle ODC. So that's the angle uh, between O, D and C. Again, we've got red text on the top. This is all useless information because it's clear from the picture what all this means. So we're going to ignore that. Now, O, D, C is this angle here. And we've also, I've also highlighted these sides in red, which are tangents next to radiuses, which make 90 degree angles because the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. Now I've got a quadrilateral with three of the four angles labelled. To find the fourth angle, I just do 360 minus 40 minus 90 minus 90, which is 140 degrees. And I know the angle at the centre is 140 degrees. To find the angle opposite that here, well, they will add up to be 360. So I do 360 minus 140, is 220 degrees. I can also see an arrowhead here, and so the angle at the outside is going to be half the angle at the inside. I half 140 and I get 70 degrees. The angle at the outside is ha half the angle at the, uh, in, at the center. I'm almost there. Now there's one more angle I need to find, and this is the angle at the bottom. 
This will add to make a right angle because it's uh, the 75 and this angle are a right angle with the tangent and the radius. 90 minus 75 gives me 15 degrees. And now I have three angles of the quadrilateral. To find the final remaining angle, I'm doing 360 minus 220 minus 70 minus 15. And I get 55 degrees. That is the final answer. Did you get 55 degrees? Let me know how well you did in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video with Advanced Maths. I hope that helped. If you want to see more videos in future, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.